Why does Disney and Pixar just love to take our most beloved characters and absolutely be them down right in front of us? Of course, it started with the King in Cars 1, then you get the World Grand Prix Racers and Rod Torque Redline in Cars 2. Then you get, of course, Lightning McQueen himself in Cars 3. We get a flashback of Doc Hudson crashing. And obviously in the Planes movie, you got Dusty and Skipper. And then Planes Fire and Rescue Blade Ranger also takes it pretty hard. Oh my god, just some brutal scenes to watch. But seriously though, for whatever reason, because of that pain, we just love to collect them as die cast. Now Mattel has not given us all that many of them. Obviously guys, I'm sure you're aware of Damage the King, probably the most popular one. Although maybe Damage Mood Springs here has something to say about that. He certainly is one of the rarest cars of all time and yeah, pretty popular as well they also gave us rod torque redline and that's pretty much it though you know a lot of customs had to have been made to satiate our desire especially with the piston cup racers and here we have doc hudson and lightning mcqueen this is what i like to call the big three right here very representative of the entire cars universe you know planes and cars included i love these three that is worth a screenshot right there but we're gonna dive right on in to the review here of Damage Dusty Crop Hopper. So pumped to get into this, man. Like, oh my gosh, untapped potential in the Planes movie. A property that I have not been visiting all that much over the last few years here on my channel. And I am very sad about that. I love the Planes movies. They generated a ton of great die casts that Mattel gave us and also have a ton of custom potential that is yet to be tapped into so who knows maybe a damage skipper is on the horizon as well maybe even a damage blade ranger so we'll see i want to give a huge shout out to sensei luminous for brewing up this amazing custom i'll leave her contact info and youtube channel link in the description below if you want to reach out to her but of course she's been doing all my damage stuff recently whether it be cars 3 next gens like cam spinner here or world grand prix racers like miguel camino and you'll also see a bunch more of her work when we get into this summer's cars 3 stock car damaged fleet that's right that is going to be my next damaged quote unquote video the next installment in the damage series here on my channel which is very 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 popular and i'm very grateful to all of you for that so without any further ado we're gonna get right into it there is when dusty gets damaged you know it's kind of a weird moment because he gets saved by the you know bravo and echo and the whole team there and whatnot and then he goes off to mexico and then he crashes like again it's like yep you got saved the first time second time not so lucky obviously he was rescued but he was beat down pretty good hector vector here the mexican chopper came in and airlifted them along with some scuba diver pities which would have been great as die cast but at least we did get hector vector who is again a very underrated release so cool and a lot of people just kind of associate him with bravo and echo even though he is a part of the mexican navy or whatever rescue team that came out and saved dusty and honestly he's very lucky that they were able to find him because i feel like there was a good chance you know in real life that plane goes down out there in the pacific ocean it's going to be tough to rescue it and know exactly where it is before it's too late you know so actually i know that got kind of doom and gloom there but seriously though dusty you are lucky that hector vector is with us and so yeah very excited to have a custom of that scene there, even though it was pretty brutal and Dusty's super mad at Skipper. Whole thing about it, you know, the nice shiny comes in with the new propeller and it's all cute and whatever. Good stuff. He becomes supercharged Dusty Crop Hopper, so he looks even better than he did before. He goes from looking like, you know, the crop duster, very basic, humble plane to looking like an absolute gunslinger out there. <laughs> The crazy wings. Did I shine to get him the propeller or the wings? I'm honestly not sure. Maybe both. I think it was the propeller, but then again, who knows? I forgot. I know you planes gurus out there will correct me. But Sensei Luminous made this so accurate. 
like every single detail is as accurate as it possibly can be. Now the propeller is not as bent up as it is in the movie, but that's simply because this plastic is just amazing. Like it's just elite. It's very well made to the sense that you can bend and try and bend this all you want, but it will just kind of go back to its normal place. But as you can see, it is scratched up there and looks pretty rough around the edges. Dusty is also basically asleep. You know, he's almost unconscious. He doesn't really know what's going on here. He's getting airlifted. He's probably a little moist around the wings and whatnot because of the fact that he just got pulled out of the ocean. Might have some seaweed dripping down that we can't discern as well. But yeah, I mean, let's just zoom in here on the amazing detail that Sensei was able to impart upon Dusty here. You have like the cracks, which are actually like in the metal there, you could feel those are deep scratches that he was somehow able to get in there. Very exciting. You have kind of like a blue overlay, almost as if some paint rubbed off on him or his paint kind of drooled down, almost like mascara. Maybe that's supposed to be water. Honestly, no, it can't be water. Yeah, it's just kind of how he ended up looking, I think. Yeah, probably... The water did some damage to his paint, and that's what we're seeing right now. But he does still have the Jolly Wrenches logo there. He's got the exhaust pipes coming out of his hood here. The expression is just wonderful, you know. He, This mouth here doesn't make it exclusively a smile. You know, obviously, that was kind of the intention here with Dusty Crop Popper. But, I mean, it's such a basic expression that you can make the eyes whatever you want it to be, and then bam, you're good, you know? So you could have made this look like a mean Dusty as well because the mouth is just kind of open. It's hard to really make a lot of expression with planes because the surface area is so small. He's got another major gash right there. Just absolutely tore off the paint. Dusty still visible is number seven, of course. And yeah, his wings are effed up. Oh my goodness. Look at this one. This one's cracked like half an inch into the wing itself, but this part is still hanging in there a little bit. Oh my God, it's so impressive. This part's also cracked as you can see, and then the flap here is bent down a ton, like so that's like a flap type piece. And since it was able to mangle that up, take a bite out of the front here, just really impressive, you know, because anyone can take a hammer to a plane, just go bam, 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 you know, and throw them around your room, oh, yay, I got a damaged dusty crop hopper, yeah, anyone can do that, I know, this takes a lot of precision, a lot of talent, and just a lot of patience to be able to selectively choose and mirror where the damage is in the movie and reflect onto the die cast not go overboard not try and go crazy with it don't try and make it look like it's been used but actually make it look like a custom that maybe mattel could have released like with damage the king here you got the kind of dirt detailing all around his body and you bend up the spoiler and all that this doesn't look like someone just took a hammer to it right because if they did that, you know, they could have been just like, well, anyone could have took a hammer to a regular old king. No, that's a piece of art right there. And so is this. And even more so because it's a plane which has so many more intricate features. You got the wings, the propeller, this antenna here that you got to work around, you know, and the very small eyes there. So very impressive that Sensei was able to pull this off. And again, you have just a bite taken out of the metal tail wing here. Look at that. That's incredible. Same kind of deal here. This is where it's really accurate to the movie. This part of his tail wing is like very loose. And now of course this is die cast metal so it's very firm and this kind of almost goes to show how well made some of these are because this isn't flapping around or anything. It's still holding in place even though Sensei severed it from the main body here. So just really impressive all around. You can see the detailing on the other side here. You have the code there. Couple more scratches. Oh my gosh, I can't get enough of this. Another bite taken out of, couple gashes up here in the wing. Just makes sense. I mean, when you hit the water at that speed, it's water, but it's not like a cushion, you know? Water can feel like cement depending on the velocity and the 
heights and the force that you go in on your impact with. So, man, this is just beautiful. It is definitely one of my favorite customs in my collection. I love all the custom Piston Cup racers, but this just is so much more unique. I mean, damaged planes. Are we going to have to do a damaged planes video at some point where I have Sensei do like every single plane, like Rip Slinger, El Chupacabra, Bulldog, Aishani, Rochelle? That'd actually be pretty crazy. I don't think anyone's ever conceived of that idea. It's almost like you think you have done everything you could possibly have done damaged. Like, okay, cars, three stock cars. I know it doesn't happen anywhere in the movies. We're doing it anyways. We're doing the next gens. We're doing the Cars 1 stock cars, of course. All right, we got Doc and Dusty and McQueen. Mattel didn't do those. All right, well, what about the NASCAR racers? Let's toss Rowdy Revan Bush in the woodshed. What if we do all the planes? You know, what if we do the Thomasville racers? The opportunities are limitless, and this one is just so cool. And yeah, I do want to show it again with the big three here. So here's Lightning McQueen. And you can see they're done in very similar styles. Again, bending the metal to your will. Spoilers bent here on this one. The wheels are all mangled. And again, this is one of my favorite customs as well. Not done by Sensei Luminous, rather by El Isma. Because of the multiple parts used here, you got the McQueen with shovel mouth plate here you have the wheels from finish line lane mcqueen with the yellow painted on there and of course the spoiler being bent is really cool but i mean dusty here has all those same features and so these do really look nice together or maybe they look bad together get it because they're really beat up <laughs> i'm so funny here we have doc hudson fabulous hudson horn also done by l isma again incredible craftsmanship here with the metal with the hood and the trunk here also got the dent there in the roof and the wheels kind of flattened or the tires flattened out to emulate how he ends up in the sand there just kind of like like sighing and laying there all spread out and just again done in the same exact style but the real question is which one is your favorite guys Lightning McQueen, Dusty Crop Hopper, or Fabulous Hudson Hornet Damaged. The only one Mattel ever planned to do was Doc Hudson, and they canceled him in 2010, maybe because it would have been insensitive following Paul Newman's death. I always thought that they were done releasing damaged stuff, but then they released Damaged Mini Racers the King and the 155 scale version last year. So maybe I am wrong. Maybe they do have these up their sleeve, but I still feel like they'll never do a damaged McQueen. It's one that they should have probably capitalized on right after Cars 3 came out and make it a convention exclusive or something like that. They didn't do that, even though they are fully aware that the damaged stuff is what we love. They know that damaged Mood Springs is probably their rarest release ever. I think they put it in the Cars Encyclopedia. They know, and I know that the people who made that book aren't the ones that, you know, work necessarily at Mattel, but they are in cahoots. Everyone kind of knows what's up, and they know that the King's very popular. So they know this stuff. They know that they could put a damaged McQueen out there, and it would become one of the most popular cars to be released in years. But I think there is something inherently holding them back tied to Disney and Pixar and just kind of the whole image of showing your beloved character like I said at the beginning of the video in so much despair but then again I go back to the king is another beloved character that they seem to have no problem with maybe his just wasn't deemed as bad I don't know maybe it's because the scene ended up being so happy and it's a different perception who on earth knows I couldn't tell you I'm just some guy who reviews stuff on YouTube but yeah just to do a little comparison here this is the regular racing Dusty, which of course is the version of Dusty that Sensei Luminous used. There are lots of versions of Dusty. This is, of course, the supercharged one that I showed you that occurs after he's rebuilt with all the parts that the fellow Wings Around the Globe racers provided him out of just, you know, respect because he made so many friends because of his cordiality and compassion throughout the tournament but yeah that's honestly you know that's a very emotional moment in the movie because it shows you how important just being kind to other people is and how it can pay dividends 
in the future and can pay you back. You know what I mean? I mean, what kind of competition is it when all of your opponents give you stuff so that they can compete against you, so you can compete better against them? You know what I mean? They're only making it harder on themselves. But everyone was there except for Rip Slinger and Ned and Zed. This is Strut Jetstream Dusty Crop Hopper when he goes and tries out for the Nebraska Lincoln Qualifiers or the Lincoln Nebraska Qualifiers. He's still got the prop down here that sprays his pesticide or whatever it may be, the fertilizer. This is the Dusty that appears at the beginning of Plains Fire and Rescue that is deemed the rarest Dusty for whatever reason, Racer Dusty. Just became rare. It's a cool looking Dusty. It's like an upgraded version of Racing Dusty. Kind of like a half breed between that and the supercharged version. Just with a different propeller and then some different coloring. But the wings are the same. And of course then he kind of reverts back to regular Racing Dusty. He still has the larger hood but without the you know, fancy wings and whatnot. So yeah pontoon a dusty crop hopper and ultimately he gets the red and black paint job which is basically like the equivalent of fabulous lightning mcqueen at the end of cars three cool stuff like just really you know more tribute type paint jobs anything more than anything he wouldn't wear those on the day-to-day -day basis but yeah guys i did want to pull out a few other damaged items here of course Stu scatter shields is just the representative for all this stuff and i love how Easily Dusty can fit on him and you could drive him around on Stu Scatter Shields, which is just one of the best releases of all time. Super Forlorn. If there were to be another season of Forlorn Favorites, I would have to dust this guy off because he is a little dusty and review him because he's freaking amazing. Like, what the hell, man? Why was he only released internationally? Who knows? It's another big mystery. Yeah, look at it. He's got the Mac Icar he can coalesce with here share their woes of being all damaged, even though I know people are going to comment, Mac Icar was not damaged in the first Cars movie. He was perfectly fine. Leave it up to imagination, all right? Plus, isn't it awesome to see Mac Icar all mangled up like that? Same thing with JP Drive here. Gotta love it. What about the iconic duo of Todd Marcus and Claude Scruggs? Bam! What about Francesco Bernoulli? Again, you saw Cars too, right? Remember when Francesco got all banged up? You know, hasn't it become like a trend to like comment on trailers and whatnot or like other media clips and say like, oh, my favorite part is when, and then they say something that absolutely did not happen in the trailer or the video or whatever. It's kind of funny. It's just a weird trend in my opinion. It's like, well, how did this come about? It's funny though. Like I'll watch a Marvel trailer and they'll be like, yeah, my favorite part is when, I think it all stemmed from Morbius, but they'll be like, yeah, my favorite part is when, let's think of a good example. Maybe like my favorite part is when Adam Warlock said it's Warlock in time and then just Warlocked over everyone. <laughs> Stupid stuff like that. But anyways, yeah. What I was going to say <laughs> Is yeah, my favorite part of Cars 2 is when Francesco Bernoulli got damaged and then just Bernoulli'd over everyone. I don't know. I'm just making crap up at this point. And then last but not least is Miguel Camino, I think, maybe. Yeah, just a whole damaged brigade here. You guys let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite damaged character? Could be one that Mattel did, like the King or rod or mood springs or it could be one of these customs which are pretty awesome in fact and you know probably even better than some of the ones that mattel actually did like rod torque redline is probably a pretty lame damage release but hey it's still you know cool to look back on it's one that they've never done again you know again it's one of those reasons why i think that they don't really want to touch damage stuff anymore because they haven't touched rod torque redline damaged or not in like 10 plus years all right, guys, thanks as always for watching this video. Thanks to Sensei Luminous for just giving birth to such a beautiful piece of art here. I will see you all soon for another video. Bye now. Bye.